to my little urban homestead. Um, I've been very busy <laughs> the past couple of days. I decided on Friday to have a preserving weekend because during summer either you've got crops coming in yourself which you can preserve or you can um, find it in the uh, market stores, farmers markets and things like that at a lower price and you'll find it over winter a lot lower price um, because every winter it tends to be from abroad and it's not local so I went buying some stuff on, on Friday I got some good deals as well so that always helps with your back balance and I have done some of it um, let me show you I've got some Chantenay carrots as you know I cannot grow carrots so I canned up eight jars of carrots I've got four pints of mushrooms and four, about six hot pints of mushrooms something like that and that's the canning that I did yesterday uh, we'll be doing some more today hopefully if we'll get around to it dehydrating um, as well as canning a lot I dehydrate so I've dehydrated some tomatoes there these are the end bits that have got the skin on the stalk and everything and the reason that they're in a separate jar is because when they're all done I will be grinding these up and making a uh, tomato powder and because the skins and that are a bit too too much but they're they're all right on these uh, thin slivers but you know they need um, grinding up to powder also the mushrooms that are canned I took all the stems out of them and I've dehydrated those well as you can probably hear me dehydrators going there on there at the moment the mushroom stems i um dehydrate them out and then grind them into a powder and add it to your gravy and it gives such a lovely mushroomy taste to it it's brilliant um i've got some normal carrots uh on there not chantonet because what i tend to do is i will freeze, dehydrate and can. So such as the carrots, I've got canned carrots. So if we have potato meal or anything, I can uh, get a jar of uh, carrots out. I dehydrate carrots so that if I am making a stew, then I'll just put it in my slow cooker uh, with the meat and everything and other dehydrated vegetables and just leave it for the day. I also freeze some as well. So if I want just a handful of carrots in say a stir fry and that, I just get them out of the freezer and use them that way. So each thing has its own um, use. Uh, but I thought I'd show you one that people may or may not know that can save money and it's so easy now uh, you might be lucky enough to grow your own peppers my pepper plants never really do that good um, but I do like peppers in soups and stews lovely and you buy them normally in a pack of three and you'll use one up by the time you get around to using the second one it's mm, not too bad but by the time you get around to using the third one, it's normally gone off. So what I do, in particular in summer, when these are cheaper, I will buy several and freeze them up because they freeze up so easy. You can, you can actually put them in oil and preserve them that way. I've done that before now. But this way I find is so easy. I ignore the state of the history. As I say, I'm on a preserving weekend. So, 
I spend a lot of time in the kitchen and things just drying and all the rest. Right, now, once you've washed your peppers, just give them a quick wipe over. Because obviously you don't want them to go in the freezer. Wet. Now, peppers, you don't need to blanch them or anything at all. So just slice it all up. And as I say, it's brilliant because if you like stir fries or anything like that, you only need a handful. So this is fantastic for it. You get as many of the seeds out, with them being sweet peppers. It's not as strong. <laughs> well, it's, they're not hot, they're sweet, aren't they? Now, I bought this uh, the other year. I saw um, somebody on YouTube using it. And I thought, oh, could be handy. If I'm just making a meal uh, at night and I'm only using one pepper or half pepper, all fresh ingredients, then I don't bother with this. I'll just cut it up with a knife because as you saw I had to cut, cut it up anyway. When I'm canning, freezing or dehydrating then I use this because it makes things more of a uniform size. Turn it around so you can see it. In fact I'll put it on there. And I think this chocolate is brilliant. all the test to it. I've done carrots, onions in this. Not a problem. But also I've got several of these cutting blades and different size. Yeah I'll show you one. This one I've just used fits in there but there's long thin strips or bigger squares whichever you want I've done the bigger squares for me dehydrated carrots because carrots do shrink down an awful lot and if you use the little one you, you've got teeny tiny weeny ones so I use the bigger one on the dehydrated carrots but that's basically it and they're all of a similar size, no problem. Chop them all up and then these bags aren't um, vacuum bags. I just lay them out. As you can see, I've done the three different colours in that bag. Seal it up, lay it out, flat as you can get it. And put it in your freezer and then they're there ready whenever you want them grab a handful whenever you need a handful and it saves a lot of waste which means it saves money so easy that's all it is you don't need to blanch them or anything just cut them up bang them in the freezer it's that easy for um, doing peppers sweet peppers and um, chili peppers I freeze them whole. But I don't even bother take the seeds out or anything because either I'll um, let them defrost and uh, then get the seeds out or leave them in, whichever I want, and um, cut them up then. Or even just grab the whole frozen chilli and grate it. But it's as easy as that. So, thank you very much. Bye! It's a perfect